and welcome back to another episode of the Fight Stars Podcast. This is my first interview with an actual legend in the game. He's a three-time world champion. He's a great father, great husband, leading his three sons, plus a few other fighters into the game right now, all undefeated. Something amazing. He's a personal family friend, somebody that's brought me back to God and really guided me through this past year, and a great friend, and I just love this guy so much. We have Feroz Fernando Vargas in the house. Manny, I'm going to give you so much money. How much, how much money do I owe you for that? <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, it's all love. Um, I appreciate you. You know yeah. what I mean? You're a, good, you're a good man. You're a good family man yourself. You know, you love your family. We love our family. We love our families. Very much so. And I think that we do it all for them. Yeah. You know, I just couldn't think about not having my kids and and, and not having my wife and and just like the same for you, you don't know you can, you know that you can live without Onyx and without your wife. Yeah. You know I mean? So it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, man. And I know you just came um, from the gym. You're training junior. He's got his fight this week. Just staying busy. It's it's been crazy month for you because you had Amado stocked in top rank. Then following me, you had Emmy top rank for the Haney Loma card. Now you got Junior co-main event in San Diego, and it just keeps repeating and repeating and repeating and repeating and you're just constantly training the boys man it's been a blessing huh yeah man it truly is you know um um you know just just to be living what i what i didn't have through my kids as each time you know i i talk about it a lot you know what i mean because i think it's very important for men to step up mm. you know because you got a lot of coward men and uh that you know see things like well, you know, I don't get along with my wife, but you don't divorce your kids, right? So at the end of the day, you know, people are allowed to make mistakes, but if they continue to be made mistakes, if those mistakes continue to be made, they're not mistakes, they're habits. Yeah. So that's real. You know, my 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 dad, the prison life, the 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 drug life, the, you know, alcohol, the, the alcohol, yeah, was more was, was more important. Than me and my sister for him, and whether they, they're you know, because he passed away. Whether you know the the Vargas family um, says no, that that's not the truth. You know he loved you guys, but you showed love where you're you, you a person. You know shows their love wherever they're most at. Yeah. If yeah. you with your family all the time, you love your family. Mm. If you're in the bars. You love the alcohol. If you're in a drug house, you love the drugs. Yeah. So that wherever you spend your time more, that's where you want to be. That's where that's where you that's where you want to be, and that's where you that's your life. So so real quick, twelve years old, you're trying to find yourself, right? You're trying to figure out your life and who you are, and you find boxing, and you go three walk three miles. Well, how like, do, how do you how how do, how does a young boy find boxing like that having such a troubled you know childhood to 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 come into that cuz I feel like boxing does that and it saves lives. It really makes men into boys into men. Right. Well, you know, look. I was a kid that God knew that I was going to ask him to come into my life and to help me. And so at 12 years old I was locked up in juvenile hall hundreds of hours of community services for batteries and, and, and thefts, mostly batteries. Um, one day when I was suspended for school for fighting, uh, getting a fight at school, I was at the house watching TV. I saw how much boxing on TV. I said, what? I saw kids my age. I was 12 at the time. I saw kids as young as 8 years old fighting with headgears and with gloves and winning trophies. I said, what is this? Yeah. I could do this. I was at a... Everybody knew me as Fernando Chavez and through grade school. And I put that on my Instagram and people were like, Fernando Chavez? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody was tripping on that. I remember that, that post, Everybody yeah. was tripping on that because that was my mom's... That's my mom's maiden name. Yeah, yeah. My mom put me under her, her maiden name in school. So when they said I had to use Vargas... Oh um, man, I was so mad. Yeah. I was so I was crying. I was so mad, and so I made my decision as a young man, and I really feel like uh, you know 
I was a man to, for what the decision I was about to make right there. You know, I said to myself, I remember crying when I got my USA boxing book because if you're an amateur, if you're an amateur boxer, you know what 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 USA boxing book is. And um it has to go what's on your birth certificate, not what's what you go to school by. Right. So what's what what was on my birth certificate was Fernando Javier Vargas. Oh my god, I was hated because <laughs> it was my dad's name. And and you know, he was never part of my life. Right. I was abused because of his absence and I and I and I hated him for it. Yeah. Um, so I remember making the decision that as a kid that, that that day, I said, you know what? I'm wiping my tears. I said, fuck it. You're going to use so the Vargas, name? Vargas is going to go with me. So it start with me. I'm going to give it to my kids one day that I have kids. I'm going to give it to my wife one day. And it's going to be a name to be proud of. Not something you have always not, resented. Not, not, not something that I always resented. Yeah. That I that I that I hated it. Yeah. I just hated it. I hated it. Like, and then so I was Fernando Javier Vargas. When I turned eighteen, I went to to the course to take off my my my, my biologicals. Middle uh, my, 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 it was my middle name, but it was his name. Right. Which was Javier, and I, until the Lord takes me, I'll be Fern, Fernando. Fernando Vargas, El Ferro Fernando Vargas. So, you know, um, I just think it's, you know, an important thing for men to step up. You know, you know, whatever the circumstances is, you have a child, you gotta step up. Yeah. You know, you you don't gotta be with the with the baby's mama. You don't gotta be, you know, have a relationship with her. Just a relationship, just to say, you know, I want to see my kids or my daughter, or my my son. But I just think that, you know, it's very. There's a lot of deadbeat dads out there, and you guys are are lame to me. You know, whenever I hear people like, "Well, I have kids," I don't, uh, I don't go see them. I go, "You're you're lame." Yeah. You know, you're and, and they're like, "Why you get mad?" I go, "You're lame, fool." You know what I mean? You don't know. What you're doing to your kids? Because as a man, as a as a young man, you 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 want to you look at who you have to emulate, who you have to be like. You're like, man, is that my dad? Or that's not my dad. That's not my dad. So, well, where's my dad at? Oh, my dad's in jail. Oh, my dad's locked up. Oh, my dad's on drugs. Right. So. Wherever you spend your most time at, that's what you love. You can't tell me you love me when you didn't show it. Right. If you loved me, you would have changed, you know, the addiction, the, the, you know, the, the vices that you had. And you'd be like, you know what? I'm not going to do it no more because I don't want to lose my, my, my family. I don't want to lose my, 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 my son. But it wasn't. So... So you know when, hey, everybody has a has a right to make mistakes. Me, I was an alcoholic for a good while. Mm -hmm. You know that's December, something you've always been vocal about. Yeah, December first, two thousand fourteen was the last time I touched alcohol. Did you say two thousand fifteen to make it even? This year will mark eight years. Eight years of my sobriety. Yeah, that's a blessing. You know, but but but. I'm it took you, a while, though. It but, took me a while. But you but, always knew you had to make that change. So she did that. One day when my wife was indifferent with me, you know, I, I'm, I'm not, I never would get hangovers. So I just wake up and start drinking some more. And so um, these are generational Christian people. So just just understand that. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah but, but, but we could We're talk all not about, perfect. Yeah. So my wife was indifferent with me. She was like, Ironing my stuff. I go, why are you ironing my stuff? She goes, well, you're going to go out. You always go out and drink. You know, so I'm ironing your stuff just in case you want to go. I go, maybe I don't want to go. I go, look, baby, I want to stop drinking, but I always have the urge to drink. I need you to, I need you to go with me to go talk to the pastor. She goes, you go. Like, just yeah. cold, you know, because yeah. she's sick of it. Yeah. Tired of it. I put that woman through the ringer. There's no woman like my woman. 
There's no woman like my woman that's been with me through thick, thin. You know, everything is, is, is beautiful when everything, there's no problems, there's no, you know. Yeah. You know, lack of th things or whatever, you know. Uh, and I'm just grateful that she never left my side. And, um, you know, so, you know, um, you're, you're always allowed to make mistakes, like I was saying. But, you know, like if they continue to be made, they're, they're not mistakes, they're habits. They're habits. And so my, my wife was indifferent with me. She was like, ironing my clothes, I go, Maybe I want to stop drinking, but I need you to go with me to talk to the pastor. Because you go. So I go. And at the pastor, it, it could have been done by me. It could have been done by myself. All I got to do, all you have to do is cry out to God. Yeah. If you want, the Bible says that Jesus cannot deny a contrite heart. What's that? A broken heart. So whatever addiction you guys may have, drinking, lust, um, uh, drug abuse, and you want it to be deleted from your life, cry out to God, and it will happen. And so I go to the pastor, and he goes, Pastor, I need you to pray for me. He started praying for me. I was broken before the Lord. I was crying. I don't even know I was crying. I was just crying. December 1st, 2014, let's just say 15 to make it even, eight years sober, December 1st. And I did it for a whole year straight. A whole year straight by myself, and I was miserable. I always had the urge to drink. I always wanted to go out and party and drink and hang out. And God took it away. And so anything that you want God to take away, you gotta. if you cry out to him you, by yourself, Go into a closet, close the door, cry to God and, and guarantee you whatever it is, he'll take that away from you. And he did that, and I will forever serve God. Now, everybody, don't get it mistaken. Don't get it twisted. I'm not perfect by any means, nor do I point the finger at somebody. We don't judge. Because, because they're sitting different than me. Correct. All I know is that I love God with all my heart. And the only reason I'm here is because of God. Yeah. And the only reason that I made it to become who I became is because I searched God and I learned when I was 12 years old. And so I'm just, um, I'm just uh, a grateful man that whatever God's already done, God's already blessed me so much that... Even if he doesn't bless me anymore, I'm still going to serve him. Yeah. Because I'm just grateful for what he's done. You know, I never want the, 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 the devil who's trying to kill me with alcohol. That's what he was trying to do. Because there's no chill button. So for me, this is, um, you know, I, t I, t I have a compulsive personality, Madison. And I go hard on everything I do. So in four years... I started boxing in four years. I broke history to become the youngest national champion in boxing history. My record can never be broken. Why? Because you're at that point in time, you're 16 years of age is a minimum to fight with men up to 32 years of age. Right. So now they, they changed, changed it to 18 because yeah. kids were getting stopped. My record can never be broken. History became like, forever. Came, came in, I'm an Olympian. Number one, I had 125, 132, 139, 147. Every time I moved up, I... I waxed everybody that yeah. was there because my life was boxing. My life was not anything else. I didn't, I wasn't half in, half out. And so, you know, I'm just grateful because I know that God's been with me since the beginning. And anybody I could invite to to church, I do. Yeah. That, I, that, I, that I hold that I hold close to me. That I say I like this guy. Yeah. I like this this couple. I like this people. These people. I'm gonna invite them to church. Because yeah. That's what I do because you know I've never met a person that has regretted serving God. I Amen. never had. Amen. I never have, and I don't think I ever will. No. Nope. I mean, you gotta. I mean, we have devil worshippers. Whatever they they do, that's their thing. 
But all I know is I serve a mighty God. I serve the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ. And so, you know, th that's why God helped me because the Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. And then, and then everything will be added to you too. So when I was 12 years old, my pastor says this, my spiritual father, Pastor Fernie, shout out to you. Thank you for putting up with me and, and thank you for, you know, I put you through the ringer too with all my problems, but thank you for being there for me. Um, my, you know, I told my, 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 my pastor was, um, is Pastor Fernie, and, um, you know, I know Christianity because of him. Yeah. And, I, and when I came here in Vegas, I, be, I came here drunk. And thank God that God took it away from me. People were like telling my wife, you're going to go to Vegas? You know, there's nothing but alcohol for 24-7. They call it Sin goes, City. Yeah, huh? and then and they call it Sin City. And he goes, and he goes, you're going to take him to go. He's going to die over there. And he goes, well, guess what? My wife said this. And I could understand because she was put up. She was just fed up She's with it. She's mad, was, yeah. She was fed up with it. She yeah. Was, well, guess what? If I go to Vegas... I'm going to speed up the process. Yeah. If it's going to be, if I'm going to be with him because he's going to change, or I'm not going to be with him because he can still drink. Right. And guess what? God took it away. God took away the urge to drink. And now, you know, I'm, I'm living a beautiful life with my kids, with my, with my wife. And, you know. A lot of great things. A lot of great things are, yeah. are happening. This Look, past year has been. All the favors that you guys see. All the like, the fans loving us, loving, loving, you know, the dynasty, loving yes. my kids, loving my, me, loving my wife, loving my daughter. It's all because of God. It's all because of God. And so I, I never, no, like I said, don't make a mistake that think that because I'm, uh, I serve God that I'm not, God, that I don't cuss, that, that, that if you come up to me, and try to think you're going to say something stupid, I'm not going to react because I, I'm i going to. You know? Yeah. Uh, the Bible says, and I want you to read, read it, look for it. Treat people like you want to be treated. Yeah. I always treat people with respect because I demand respect. Yeah. You're not going to come over to me and talk crazy or say anything like talk off the wall to me or not. Yeah. So, you know, that's why I'm saying... Don't think that because I serve God, I'm, I'm perfect or or I think I'm perfect. I'm, no, I'm the worst of the worst. I never point the finger at, at you because you sin different than me. And, 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 and I'm the type of man that I live and I let live. Right. You know, I'm not judging people. You've been around me my own, like a good amount. Yeah. I'm telling, yeah but, a good but that says something because I forgot what I forgot the quote, but you always said, you know, people want to go to church when they think they they got it right or they're perfect, yeah. but God doesn't want that. No, no. So people like like people try to lie. To, like, you know, when I was a, even I, you understand, I was twelve years old when I when I started serving God. I was Catholic before we came here to Vegas, and now I became a Christian. Um, people think that that you got it all together, and uh, no. Then you go well, to church. Church is for the people that are all jacked up. I'm all jacked up. <laughs> yeah, same. I don't even. I don't. I don't, I don't Oh, yeah, brother. No, I'm never the dude. Yeah. And now that I got into Christianity, there's a lot of people that, shame on you, brother. Shut up, because you, you you could be worse than me. Right. So I don't, I don't, I don't judge. Yep. I don't point the finger. Yeah. Because the way you're going to be, the way you're going to, the way you judge, you will be judged. Amen. The Bible says, the way you judge people and then when you criticize people that this, that, 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 oh man, you know, shame on you, brother. That's how God's gonna, that's how God's gonna judge you. The same way you measure people. Me, I ask for for forgiveness and for mercy every day of my life on my knees before going to bed. Because that's just the way I've been. So I was 12 years old, I started right. searching God. Yeah. And so that's why He gave me the, the fruits of, of what, I, what I'm living. Yeah. You know, you went through a lot, but now it's this. This has been a great year for the family it's too. Been a, a real great year. Yeah, the boys are fighting regularly, regularly, and man, I'm just, I'm just blessed. I'm yeah, blessed, I'm a blessed family. 
Like I say this a lot. Just to the Debbie dads. Just imagine what you could have had if you didn't skip out on your family. Everybody has problems. Everybody, but that don't mean you don't, you don't, you get divorced your wife, you don't divorce your kids. Yeah. And like I said before, you know, wherever you spend your most of your time is, that's your God. Yeah. Alcohol, drugs, women. Those are your, that's your, that's your drug. And like I said, I'm not perfect by any means. I love God with all my heart. I'm the dirtiest sinner in the world. <laughs> because I never want people to think that I'm perfect. Yeah. I don't think I'm that bad, but, I, you know, people always have been like, oh, yeah, yeah, well, you're Mr. You're this, you're that, and you used to be, you used to do this. You to... You're right. But I don't do it no more, right? And, and, and guess what? I don't, well, I don't drink, I don't hang out, I, don't, I chill, I'm, I yeah. just try to be the best I could be. And I'm not perfect by any means, nor do I point the finger at you because you sin different than me. I love God, and church is for the sinner. Not for, yeah. it's not for the perfect guys. If you're perfect, you're going to go to heaven. Go to heaven right now then, go. You, can, you know, so, you know, it's just... um. That's, That's important. What you're saying is important. And I think a lot of people with big platforms, they forget to promote God and, and, and talk about him um, just because they don't want the backlash or the criticism. And, well, uh, you get a lot of backlash too, but, but then also the enemy will, uh, will attack you. That's what and I then, mean. And, uh, and the enemy has attacked us too. Yeah. But guess what? I'm, st I'm still standing. You're still standing. I'm still, I'm still serving God. Still a fighter. I'm still a fighter. Inside the ring, outside the mm -hmm. ring. My, um, you know, one of the things that I, that I, that I dream of is like, you know, because one day God is going to come and then it's going to be, it's going to be the rapture. Then he's going to take all his, all his people, all his people that believe in him, you know, and, and serve them and try to live a, the best life they could as a Christian. So one day it's going to happen, and the battle of Armageddon is going to happen with God against the devil. And I hope one day, I hope to God that he's going to pick his, 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 he's gonna pick his soldiers, soldiers of who he's going to take. And he was, if he was to take me, I'll bow to his, to his feet and kiss his feet. I think about that, you know, like, wow, can you imagine how that, that would be like, he says, you're going to go with me, son. And that's what I'd love to do is fight. I'm going against the enemy. We all know who wins. Yeah, always. We, we know who wins. Every who time, wins. undefeated. He's undefeated. Undefeated. He, he's, he's undefeated. And we all know that who's going to win when the battle of Armageddon happens. And it will happen. In the, and there's some signs sometimes like the, that the end of time is coming. And a lot of different stuff is happening in the especially world. Especially lately. Yeah, especially lately. Yeah. And it's just like a little scary. But but the like, faith but, is what keeps us together. The faith keeps is what keeps us together. It's all we could ho worry about. Is yeah, that, yeah, and we could always know that because we have a relationship with God. Because the, the time is going to come when we're all going to be in front of God. And then he's going to say this to people that turn away from me. I never knew you. Mm. Wow. Can you imagine? God, 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 God knows if you have a relationship with him or not. Because I talk to God every day. And I hear we're going to have backlash. And, we're gonna, and, I, and I pray a covering over you and over your family. And, over, and I pray a covering over me, over my family, because I'm talking about God right now. Yeah. The, yeah. the devil doesn't, doesn't like that. Not at all. Okay? And, you know, all our, you know... Social medias are, are, you know, they're not about Christian stuff. You know what I mean? But we're, we're talking about God stuff. I mean, I follow a few pages that do. But everybody, you know, you know, they show their, 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 you know, what they're doing, what they're not doing, what you know. But at the end of the day, I've always been the man that I live and I let live. And I'm not perfect by any means, and nor will I ever. 
you know, point the finger at him. Shame on you, brother. You know what the Bible says. I'm just, phone, don't, don't, don't. Uh, That's funny because you do know what the Bible says. Yeah. And you, you're I always do. reciting. Yeah. <laughs> you, like yeah. right off the top of the head. Yeah, yeah. And it's funny because you'll be like, Vato, you know, I've been hitting the head. Sometimes I can't remember stuff. But you'll remember everything from the Bible. Yeah, I remember that stuff. <laughs> yeah, because that's, that's part of my salvation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know. Um, and it's what it, it really does what keeps you going and keeps your faith strong yeah, and keeps you away from. Family. Yeah, and keeps the family strong. And I love family that. Family strong, man. Three time world champion, man. And the WBC just gave you your love recently. About time. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm just grateful. You know, I just. That was uh, a great event. It was cool to that see. That was a great event. And all the big guys were there, too, to see it. You happen. saw Floyd? Yeah, that's Floyd, what I'm saying. Shout out to Floyd Mayweather Jr., my Olympic teammate, that said, Give this man his belt. I was like, Talk to him, champ. Yeah. yeah. He said, man, give this belt, get this man his belt that he deserves. Yes. He knew. It was, that event was great because COVID stopped it for a few years. So they yeah. were catching up from like three years. Yeah. So everybody was there to see it. So there was just like that validation. And yeah. you getting the strap. Getting my strap and I don't have to explain it. No. But he, he knew it. <laughs> and that was, that's awesome that, you know, it's those TBE, things. Yes. for TBE to, to know that, you know, that that was your belt. And, you know, we're Olympic team, but we were never close. But we've always been cordial. Yeah, you know, every time you guys see each other, you know, it's always no, no, love. No. We're not like we hung out. Right, 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 right. But, right. but, we, but we always were cordial with one another and on the Olympic team. And, and even after he became who he became. So it's a blessing, too, for me that, you know, the TV said, man, get this man his belt already. Get the belt that he deserves. Oh, man, that, that was awesome. That was That was really cool. And uh, that event was awesome, and just everybody who was there to see it and to show the love. My wife was crying. Yeah. Yeah, because she knew I wanted that belt. She's been right there. She's seen every <laughs> single fight. She yeah. knows what you've been yeah. through. She knows what happened. It's yeah. like, it, it's a special moment to see. Now you're the three-time world champion. Yeah. Young is in the history to do so. 21 years, five days. And, um, you know, my mom, I'm just like, you know, blessed to be... Uh, guiding my boys you yeah, know, through, 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 through this through, crazy through, business through, through this dirty you, business dirty business and you know it's the best it's the most beautiful sport in the world but the most corrupt world correct corrupt uh, sport uh, sport in the world yeah you yeah know? boxing makes boys into men you're I just had Junior on it I could just tell in his voice he's changed a lot and how he's he's approaching things and he knows he's right there Amato same he's just he, I know, I, I could tell, like, they're all changing. We know Emmy, you know, Emmy's already got his head on, and, but... Emmy Chenko. Emmy Chenko, and he's, he's in the gym constantly. He knows what he needs, you know, but just to see them, you know, you know how it is. It's like, we're, we're dumb when we're young, especially yeah. as men. Yeah. And, and to really, like, get these, these young men to just change their mentality at such a young age, it's like, it's so, it's so great to see, because... You know, there's always, you know, we have our mistakes and we wish we could change the things yeah. we see. And, you know, we just don't want to see it. We just don't want to see it in them. Right. We don't want to see these young men fall. Right. You know, or or have their vices or or have everything in their hands and then they just let it go away. Yeah. You know, and it's yeah. just. That's the toughest. But, you know, um, you know, we're always going to be there for our kids. Yeah. At the end of the day, they could do the worst thing in the world and we're always going to be there because we're parents. Yeah. We're fathers. Yeah. You know to our kids and you know we're not gonna skip on them we're not gonna be like all right well you know it's nice meeting you or nice knowing you yeah. i gotta go no you're always gonna be my son i tell them that i tell my daughter you're always gonna be my daughter and you know uh, i'm not perfect because i don't know how to be a good father but i try you try it's all you know, because that's all, that's all we could ever do is try because yeah. you know you had a great example. I I didn't have that. Yeah. So I didn't have it. So uh, you know, I, I'm learning as I go, as I'm going, and and I made I make a lot of mistakes, and and I have my parents, I mean my my kids to forgive me, and because you know, I make I mean, I make I make mistakes. I'm not perfect. Yeah, but they know. Yeah. They know. Yeah. And they got the best guy leading them, especially in the ring. No, thank you. You're man. gonna teach them. You're gonna teach them how to get through all of this. Get him to those championship you know, fights. Like, like, like I said, look, 
Look at what like, like what I was telling you. Look at what, like when kids were, were, were parents said they could say to themselves. Look what you could have had if you didn't skip out on your kids. And I'm not saying that I'm like, oh, your kids are gonna be world champion or or they're gonna be fighters. But look at the people that that that, that the, the the parents that have skipped out on their kids. So a lot of their kids have gone bad, and yeah. because of of the fact that you know of being abused by 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 step parents or or by you know just not not having a, a father figure there and you need it so they start going to gangs and so they start learning to 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 do stupid things in the streets and at the end of the day you know look what you could have had it's like if you would have been stayed there i'm always gonna be in my kids my life forever you know until god takes me and um you know i have a great mm. wife and just the queen i love you beauty queen I love you, beauty queen. Yeah, slip that in there real quick. I love you. We'll chop that out. We'll make sure. So what do you think? So, you know, dad, you know, you're a dad trainer, and there's a lot of dad trainers out there. What do you think about I that guy? I don't know dynamic? if there's a lot of them. Well, but, there's um, a few. Tia Fimo's dad's one of them. Yeah. He's in there. David Benavidez's dad, you know, he's in his corner. But the thing is that these guys never fought. So professionally or, or or amateur so you know or i don't know if they will feel me but i'm sure that i think that i heard that yeah that the Benavides i think you're i think you're i think you're right yeah, 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 but, yeah. But, but, but you know i know everything they're going through so it's like whenever like when it's fight week and um cutting weight and they're cutting weight and not like, eating they're not eating and oh. so 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 Whenever people come over, I'm like, hey, bro, just don't talk to my son. Yeah, yeah. Just, like, respect him. Just say hi. Yeah. Chill. Or if they go training, to go watch them train. Don't go asking a bunch of questions. It's just just, just go and see what he's doing. And, and he all love the the moral support that you're there. Exactly. And he'll see it. He'll recognize it. And he That's been, all you have to do. And he's happy that, that you're there. But he doesn't look happy right now. Yeah. And because he's cutting weight, he's losing you know, weight and and um, focus on the fight, a the lot fight. of pressure. He's, he's a yeah. You know, he's um. And you know that you zero lived in, it. zeroing in on 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 fight week and fight. You know, the fight day and you know after the weigh-ins and then we're after they eat, then you you can talk to them all you want because you'll be good to go. You'll yeah. be happy. You'll be happy after he made weight. He's, he wants to eat and you want to talk to him for a little bit. You can talk to him. Then he has to go rest. That's that guidance. That's that guidance, man. It's like I live this by myself. You know, it's crazy. And they don't have to. And they don't have to, cause I, I already did. I already did the hard part by myself. You know, I didn't. Nobody was with me to help me. Like I couldn't even get a ride to the gym. Yeah. You know, I said I said it to walk or on the pedal walk, bars, right? Walk, walk, walk one mile, one hour to get to the gym and walk another one hour back to to. From the from the south side of Oxford to the east side of Oxford, it's crazy. But when you're dialed in, I was dialed in as soon as I saw it. I said, "I'm going. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna become big in the sport." And that's what happened because I, I started going to church. I started searching God, and and you know, the, like I said, the Bible says, "Seek first the kingdom of God and all, and all His righteousness, and then everything else will be added." And I did that without even knowing, you, because I got because because I knew that God would help me. Amen. You used to do camps in uh, Big Bear, right? Yeah. Were those your most intense for camps? Those were intense, was Big intense Bear? camps, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, you know, I would do it because it's, we're here in altitude. Yeah. Right here. I don't know. I know uh, uh, Big Bear is higher than here. Right. But, but, you know, that's why I tell my boys, we have an advantage once we go to sea level because we're going to go to California and fight. You're going to feel like nothing. Yeah. Your lungs like, oh, are you're, open. You're, you're already... You already have an, an advantage of you being in Vegas and then and training at an altitude that when wait till you get to the fight, yeah, you will be ready to go. Yeah. So they're like, oh, that's great, Dad. Thank you. That's cool. Yeah, Big Bear is uh, it's intense camps, man. Intense yeah. camps, but they're really lonely. It's because you know your family's not there, your wife's not there, you know. And sometimes you're, they're lonely, you know what I mean? You only have your camp up there, the, the the people that you need to help you in the corner. And that's what it is. And so, you know, your, your nutritionist, your your cook, your, you know, uh, your masseuse, your, you know, 
It's a bunch of, you know, just all, all athlete stuff. Yeah, that's real. Man, well, I'm glad you came on. It's an honor. This is my first interview with the legend. And, no, uh, we've been in an interview. We've done more, but like from the Fight Stars Network yeah. and the new podcast to have you on. I know you're always busy. Like I said, like, if it's not Emmy, it's Junior. If it's not Junior, it's a model. No. And if not, then it's with China and the Queen. It's yeah, like, yeah. it just keeps going. Or little Chris or yeah. helping Gabe, Gabriel yeah. Flores Jr. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it just doesn't stop with you. And I love it because. Of course. You know what, you know what the Bible says I already about, know what you're going to say. Idle but hands. Like, yep. Idle hands are works of the devil. Think about that. Meaning. Staying busy. Staying busy is yeah. good. Yes. If you, I'm, I'm the type of dude that if I'm not busy, I'm going to get in trouble. Yeah. So, idle hands are works of the devil. Wow. And this isn't just to be on camera, folks. He's like this all the time. That's why I love him so much. Because it, but like, I'm not perfect. I want to go, oh my course, God, you're so of holy. Of course, no, no one's perfect. I'm not holy. I'm not holy, nor do I think I am, or, yeah. or do I... But it helps. For, for, no, but I just I just know that I love God. Yeah. And the reason I'm here is because of God. You know, the Bible says that he knew you when you were in your mama's womb. Wow. It's powerful. So he knows. He knew as soon as you came out of your mama. He's the one that was. Just imagine how a chemical, not even a chemical, a substance can make a human being. A liquid. Can make it a human being. It's it's it is kind of wild. Coming down that God. It, it is. How? Everything makes a human being. Yeah. In a woman's womb, stomach. That's amazing. Yeah. Nine months and baby's born. Wow. And it's like human. It's you know, beautiful. It was beautiful. I'm as a, I was a from my kids. Births. You are a great dad. Uh, I well, see it. I'm not trying my best. I'm not perfect, and nor do I try to act like I am because I'm not. I, I understand. Make a, make a lot of mistakes. And, I but, understand. But one thing they can never say about me is that I'm not present. And real quick, on a, on a lighter note, if you could lift your foot up real quick. I know it's fight week. When my man's got the shoes on right here. <laughs> the what I just, man was holding mitts earlier today. The Sunday, what I, just, I was like, oh, it must be fight week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hey, I always have them on. I mean, these are my DeSanti. Yeah. What I just, yeah. Junior's looking great. Junior's looking great. Junior's yeah, looking great. Junior's looking yeah. great. I'm, 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 I'm happy for him. Yeah. You know, Junior, Junior, was, since when he was a baby, I taught him how to throw his punches. Yeah. And um and he hits hard. And I tell him I tell him, even as a baby, even as a three year old kid, like, I swear to you, he goes, I go, Papa, pegale ese cabrón en la mano. Hit this guy in the hand. And then the guy goes, oh, my friend in the hand. And Junior goes, he went with the left, because he's a sapo. Yeah. He goes, what the hell? <laughs> goes, what? Like, like he was tripping. Goes, my friends were tripping. Like, what the hell? He goes, are you gonna make? Are you gonna, like, is he gonna fight? I go, only if he wants to. Only if he wants and to. And all, all my kids fight because they want to. Yeah. Not because I make. And you've said this before, never, and you, you know. Now I'm never gonna make my kids do something. This is something that you try never, to put them in multiple sports other than boxing. Other than boxing, I put them. Pop Warner. Basketball. And, and pop, well, check this out, Pop Warner. If Amado and Junior didn't make three touchdowns a game, <laughs> it wasn't a game. Right. So it's the athleticism and the Vargas bloodline it was is, in there. Deep, is deep. And so at the end of the day, they wanted to fight, and I didn't want them to. My compadre said, Frankie Baby goes, champion one kids to fight. I said, no. He goes, okay. Who's going to tell your kids they can't be like their dad? Because I'm not going to tell them. I said, wow. And real quick, I want to talk about Frankie Baby because he's always in the corner. I think that's so special. There's this like this dynamic when he's there. I just I don't know. There's just I've never met him personally. Wow. But I've always known him to be around. I've always seen him in the corner, always on camera. It's it's beautiful. It's like, yeah. well, that, that's my compadre, <coughs> and um, you know, he baptized. Yeah. He, uh, I know a lot about him. You've always spoke so highly of him, and yeah. it's just like. 
there's a very powerful presence of him with with you guys and the family and the boys and stuff. I just love that. He baptized uh, Amado. No, no, no. Emiliano, I'm sorry. Yeah. He baptized Emiliano. And, um, you know, and so they were compadres. And he, uh, he's part of the family. Part you of know, the family. Frankie, Frankie baby always takes care of us and whatever we need. And so, you know, physical training stuff. And he's a good, 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 real good man. He is. I could tell. There's just something about him every time I yeah, see so. Yeah, he's a mar- he's, military man. Yeah. He went to to Korea. Yeah. Yeah, so And he was in Emmy's corner for the last fight too. Yeah. Yeah. It's just it's just so cool. It's just like it's a great dynamic and everything you guys have built. And I think that means a lot. Why you guys are doing what you're doing. Uh the boys are looking great, all undefeated. They know it's one fight at a time. They're not taking advantage of the Vargas name. And they're listening to you. They're listening to the beauty queen. They're listening yeah, to yeah. what you guys are doing. And, uh, and uh, you know, the sky is the limit. I was talking to Junior as well. You always, anytime a fan comes up, you always take a picture with them. We could be trying to go eat some food, but you'll stop. Don't matter. You might have not eaten all day, but if that person wants that picture with you or just to shake your hand, you stop. And I think that mean, uh, that, that says a lot about who you are. And you're the people's champion and why why all these blessings are coming because you know where you are and you know what you've created and you know what you're going where you're going. And I love that about you. Thank you. When I was a kid, I dreamed of the day that people would come up to me and say I like I'd be like 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 I I don't even play with like my like I, I would even make it out to be like myself. Oh Fernando, can I take a picture? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like, like I would say, I would be like, like the fan, <laughs> and then I'm talking to myself like that. Oh my God, can I take a picture? Yeah, of course. You want, you want to take a picture too? Yeah, we want to take a picture. I'm like, cause I love that man. It's like, you know, how can you turn away from love, man? And those are the fans that are the ones that make you. Yeah. That's the and I tell my boys that all the time. You always take the time to take a picture with the fans and. Even if you're eating, one time, my grandma, rest in peace, um, I was eating at a restaurant, and um, and she told um, the fans, one of the fans came up and just said in Spanish, nos podemos sacar un foto de ti, nos puede dar un autógrafo, if you want to take a picture with you, can he give us an autograph. And then my grandma goes, no, 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 es, es, está comiendo. Like, really... It made me pissed off because it was like really pompous. Yeah. I go, she goes, no, 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 he's eating. And I go, mom, I don't belong to myself. Yo no soy de mi mismo. Yo soy del público. I'm from the, pu- I'm, I belong to the, the public. public. Yeah. And so I grabbed her stuff. I grabbed the, you know, the, the, the pin to do the autograph. And I took a picture. And I go, ¿cuánto duró eso? How long did that last? They go, tres segundos, dos segundos. Three seconds, two seconds. Okay. A mí no me estás diciendo que no, que, que, que ni le digas a los fans que no quiero sacarme fotos con ellos, porque no, tú no eres, tú no eres, tú no, tú no eres la persona que le están pidiendo ese favor. You know, I said, don't, 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 don't say that to the fans. How many, how long did that, did that take me? Yeah. And he goes, two, three seconds. He goes, okay. You're not in the position to say yeah. who, who I take pictures, who I don't take pictures. Yeah. Don't do that. You're at that restaurant because of the fans. You're yeah. able to do all those things yeah. because of them, because yeah, of the support yeah, they yeah, have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my and that's why when they show your picture on the jumbotron, they go crazy for you. I saw that at the Stockton fight with Gabe. That, that, that was, was awesome. That was so. That was so cool. Yeah, yeah. It's like those little things, you know. And like even at the fights, I see you like. They no, go, the, then the, yeah. Right. They show love. Yeah, I'm just just as grateful. Of course. Just grateful always. And you know, um, my boys are doing amazing, and I'm and I'm happy for them. Yeah. I know that they 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 got the potential to to become big in the sport. The potential. But the, yeah. So it's all up to them. Discipline and hard work is Discipline gonna get them there. Discipline and hard work. Yeah. Yeah. But they're listening. Yeah. Well, Finally. They better. <laughs> they better about that. <laughs> Well, it was an honor as always. Thank you. I know I'll see you 
Uh, I know you're going uh, this weekend for a juniors fight, Pachanga. Yeah. Um, oh, I want to invite everybody. This will be out before? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let them know. I want to invite everybody um, this Friday. Um, uh, Pachanga Casino. Pachanga Casino. Marv Nation. Marv Nation. Um, Ticketmaster. Go, go Ticketmaster. Is still tickets available? Yes. You know, he's going to be the co main event. Co main event. Yeah. So. So you guys come on through and show that love. And show that love. If you're out by San Diego or TJ, come on up. It's right there. What about TJ Nights? TJ Nights. Hey, real quick on that. Because you were you were rapping right before we did the podcast. And like it's funny because like, you know, the boys they'll have their phone. They could just play music at a dime. You you had to put on your just what your favorite CD right getting hyped before your fights right back mm. in the day right what would you play the Chronic 2000 <laughs> yeah and just let that repeat yeah and, <laughs> and then then DMX 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 uh, blood of my blood flesh of my flesh um that uh, that was uh, e- I used to be easy fan yeah um uh, Snoop Dogg Snoop no, a lot of West Coast a love. A lot of West Coast love. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's what I used to and run with. It. Man, when you used to get, when I used to get hype, put that DMX go run. DMX. That was it. Yeah. And I was ready to go. You're and ready. I was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. DMX will do that to anything. Yeah, DMX. Yeah. They get you hyped, go to get the bank. Have, yeah, <laughs> really, yeah. For real. <laughs> ah, yeah. I'm ready to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Three time world champion, Feroz Fernando Vargas, in the house, y'all. Stay tuned for the next episode. Peace.